Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, one of my viewers, Sam, has sent me a dream, and I want you to hear End Day's Dream, prophetic, I believe. Hi, Pat. I had a dream that I've been hesitant to share. Maybe you could pray on it. I prayed and was shown in another dream a map of planets. I didn't recognize it. I asked my sister and she said she saw the earth wobble like a child playing with a beach ball. Here is the dream. In the dream, I was walking past some buildings of my hometown. I looked above them facing east and saw storm clouds whipping across the sky faster than I've ever seen. I walked past them to get a better view and had a dreadful feeling come over me. I decided to run up a hill facing west, but when I got to the top, I saw smoke and people running out. They were running out of the smoke towards, towards me. I looked up and could see the sun in the west. Well, I wanted to go. I wanted to go there, but I wasn't sure if I could make it. So I started back down the hill only to find the streets below me filling with water. I stopped wondering what to do. Just then, I saw the south dark sky filled with tornadoes. Above the tornadoes, I saw fireworks and thought, hmm, why is someone lighting fireworks like it's the 4th of July? Before I could answer, massive storm clouds appeared in the shape of thundering horses. Well, taken aback, I exclaimed, are these the four horsemen? Someone corrected me right then and said, that was the end of the dream. What they said was three what they meant was three horsemen. I had to make the correction. Isn't that something? Wow. Three horsemen. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of scary. Now, what I want you to think about is in these last days, we have no idea when Revelations is really kicking in. But when you look at some of the storms that have been taking place, some of the flooding, some of the electrical storms with all the crazy lightning and, and just how tempestuous some of the storms and tornadoes have been. We really need to pray because we have no idea. Oh, by the way, this is Pat's two cents now. We have no idea what's coming. And we need to pray for warning, number one, God warn your people ahead of time so that your people can prepare both with supplies and with insurance. All right. We need to ask God if it is truly, truly, truly the end that he will give us a peace and that we will be right with him. And if we're not, God would let us know so that we can repent in time. Because let me tell you, I do believe this. Now, I'm not trying to sound morbid. Some of you, when you hear this word, you think morbid, but I'm not trying to be morbid. This is more of a word of comfort. When the saints pass away, when God's people, God's chosen pass away, even the merciful, I believe that God is so merciful that they don't feel the sting of death. I don't believe that when it's my time, just like with my husband, he did not feel the sting of death. There's something about the merciful ways of God dealing with death that a lot of times he will let a person slip into a coma so that when it is time, it's as if they fell asleep and they woke up in heaven. Eyes closed, eyes open, bam, we're somewhere else. No pain, no discomfort, no fear. 
I really believe God makes the crossing over very peaceful, very gentle, fearless. And we should be more apt to trust God, to pray to God, to seek his face for direction, instruction, comfort, peace. And trust me, we will be okay. Whatever happens, we will be okay. Because we are in the ark of safety. And that's being in Christ Jesus. That's being in God's good graces. Pleasing God. God bless you. Don't dread, don't fear, don't run, don't hide. Trust. God is due to trust.